Some other issues that we've been monitoring this election season, the proposed amendments. Four out of the six of them passed. All right, so we're going to break each one down for you. The First Amendment passed. It guarantees the constitutional right to hunt and fish and harvest wildlife in North Carolina. Experts say this amendment is part of a growing trend in the south and southwestern parts of our country. Now, the Victims' Rights Amendment also passed. We've talked a lot about that. It's also known as Marcy's Law. It ensures that crime victims and their families are informed about the developments in their case, and they can actually participate in court proceedings. And another big one here, state income tax lowers the cap on state income taxes to 7% from 10 voters again passed that. And voters also passed the amendment that requires a photo ID at the polls. A previous voter ID law here in North Carolina was struck down by the courts, so this one is going to have to be written in a way that's going to comply with federal law. But boy, oh boy, did these next two fail. Judicial appointments rejected by voters as well. This was one of the two amendments that all five former governors, both Republican and Democrat, Democrat opposed. Look at that. 67% against. It would have taken some of the governor's power to fill judicial vacancies and given more power to the legislature. And then the other one. Voters also rejected this one, the Sixth Amendment on the ballot. It would have changed the way the Board of Elections and Elections Enforcement is made up. And this is. Uh, 62 percent, creating an eight-person bipartisan board. It would have, uh, critics say that they worried it would have led to deadlocks. Governors also argued that this would take power away from the executive branch and dilute the separation of powers in the state. They were, you know, kind of complex issues about how power is distributed within the state. And I think people were kind of maybe naturally somewhat confused about that. So when you get a clear message of bipartisan former governors saying this is not a good idea, I think it's very easy to listen to that. So, yeah, they did not go straight party ticket. He noted that uh, some people just voted some for, some against as they split that particular vote.